5'9", a graduate senior guard from Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Lexi Lake, 5'9", a graduate senior guard from Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Ashley McGeorge, 6'0", a redshirt senior forward from Tompkinsville, Kentucky. And back in the starting lineup, nice to see Courtney Pritchett, 5'8", a redshirt junior forward from Birdstown, Tennessee. Miranda Denny, Madison Clements, and Madison Faulkner, the assistants. And for those of you joining us over in the uh, Caverna area, 104.7 the score. Madison Faulkner, uh, she's from that neck of the woods, Benji Kelly. She really is and has a, had a great uh, history here in Campbellsville. Stuck around a, uh, a couple of years and uh, being an assistant, actually a board director here at the university. So. Uh, for overview of the uh, 104 The Score, we uh, appreciate you joining us here tonight in Campbellsville, Kentucky. Nice to have a new outlet Absolutely. along as we look at Josh Epperson starters quickly. Tonight he sends out K.J. White, 5'7", a junior guard from Trenton, Tennessee. Kenley Barnell, 5'9", a junior guard from Bald Knob, Arkansas. Kaylee Odom, 5'11", freshman forward from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Janiah Brooks, 5'5", a senior guard from Linden, Tennessee. And Reagan Floyd rounds out the five for the Lions, 5'7", a senior guard from Linden, Tennessee as well. Gamblesville, the traditional home whites tonight. Gamblesville across the chest in maroon. Maroon numerals for CU's Lady Tigers. For Freed Hardeman, the Freed Hardeman sandwich is the number in the middle of the jersey in white. Ball in the air, and the Lady Tigers from right to left here in the first half. They control it. Pettigo crosses the midcourt stripe into the front court. Comes Campbellsville. Faith Lake on the left wing holds it, looking for Pritchett. She's got her. Pritchett back to the basket, working. Goes up against Floyd. Shot no good. Rebound is battled for, and going to be taken by Floyd. Long ahead to White. K.J. White will push. She'll go left side. Ball knocked out of play as they were looking for Odom. It'll stay with Freed Hardeman. One thing we want to mention here is Alyssa LeMay not in the starting lineup for Coach Josh Epperson, the 5'10 senior forward from Mount Pleasant, Tennessee. She's an all-conference performer from a year ago, averaging 16 points, 10 boards per ball game. Not in the starting unit tonight as Freed Hardeman Goes without her, uh, at least for the time being. Brooks here on the drive, left side of the lane, kicks it out. Once again driving, this is Floyd, out to White. She'll throw up a floater, that's gonna be no good. Rebound taken in there by Odom. Put back for Odom is off the mark. Brooks, another offensive chance for Freed Hardeman, and somehow the Lady Tigers able to come up with three or four stops there. Lexi Lake to the front court, leaves it off with Pettigo. Pritchett late getting back into the play. Sprain that ankle at Pikeville. Nice to see her back for the first time since. Here, Faith Lake inside. Pettigo goes up and gets the deuce. Nice little give and go there for the Lady Tigers. Uh, Faith Lake kind of cutting Bailey Pettigo, and it's good to see that ankle's not bothering her here tonight. Back to the front court. It's Freed Hardeman. Number one ranked Lady Tigers hosting Freed here. Mid-South Conference action in the Powell Center. Matt Payton and Benji Kelly here for the call. Double header coming your way. Freed Hardeman still on the offensive end. Inside Odom going to go up. Shot no good with two on the shot clock. Ashley McGeorge claims another rebound for Campbellsville. Nice rebound by Ashley McGeorge. That's a point of emphasis from Coach Colvin. This is the Freed Hardman team. As we saw in that last possession, they can really pound the boards. Pritchett off the wing. Now dribbling up top. Backdoor back cut to Faith Lake. She gets the finish. Courtney Pritchett the five. Nice backdoor cut there. That's going to be there all night. It's good to see Courtney not missing a beat after a couple games off. A little full court pressure here. They come ahead, Brooks finds Floyd. She'll drive down the baseline, kicks it out. White has a three on the way, that is in and out. Rebound taken by Varnell. Her put back off the mark and Pritchett secures the rebound for CU. Lady Tigers with a chance to add to their lead. 4-0 at the moment, change is coming and we're gonna have a time, a technical bench, bench warning. warning. So they're going to get Coach Epperson. Man, he made it two minutes and 15 seconds into the game before, uh, I guess, losing his cool a bit. Caitlin Wilkes going to check in here for Campbellsville, 6'2", junior forward from Stanford, Kentucky. And you wonder, Benji, just the number of chances down low for Freed Hardman with no whistles down there. That may be uh, what he's barking about a bit. Well, I think it was. Uh, you know, there's, there was a little, little contact, but I don't think nothing that warranted the foul. But uh, he's just trying to pump his team up here. 
4-0, Campbells with the lead and the basketball. Backdoor, Pettigo finds Faith Lake here. We're going to have a blocking foul called against Kaylee Odom. This will be the first on Odom, first on Freed Hardeman. Once again, a nice backdoor cut there by uh, Faith Lake. A chance to go to the free throw line here for a couple shots. That play is going to be there pretty much all night because Freed Hardeman really likes to get out in the passing lanes. Faith Lake sinks the first free throw for Campbellsville. One more coming for the senior. And this free throw good as well. Good start. Lady Tigers with a 6-0 lead. Good start here by the Lady Tigers, 6-0. To so the other end, Freed Hardeman. K.J. White holds it. Heavy pressure by Campbellsville's defensive unit. Back to Brooks out top, left side. This is Floyd. She finds Odom, faces up, skips it right wing. White can't shoot it. Pettigo takes it away. And actually, Pettigo couldn't quite control it. Wilkes tipped it. Pritchett caught it. And now Pettigo to the front court. Races ahead, looking for Lexi Lake off the right wing. Now Pettigo between the circles. 20 on the shot clock, just under seven minutes to go. First quarter. Pettigo bounces. Faith Lake now left side. Lexi Lake on the drive. Tries to feed one inside to Pritchett. Does. Pull up for Pritchett here is good. Pritchett kind of waited, nothing else opened up, and a jumper was the best option for Swiss, and she sinks it. Great, uh, once again, a great start here for Campbellsville, 8-0. Uh, you know, you couldn't uh, dial it up any better. Doing a really good job on the defense again. So I believe we're heading to a, a full timeout here, Matt. But, Media uh, stoppage with Campbellsville leading eight to nothing, 643 remaining in the first quarter. We'll step away. You're following the Lady Tigers. This is the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Yeah. If you get COVID-19, you'll recover after a few days. That myth is false. We're only just beginning to understand the effects of COVID-19 on the human body. As we're starting to see more and more people identifying as long haulers who are having symptoms for weeks, if not months after their initial infection. Continue to wear a mask, socially distance, and wash your hands. Together, we can keep COVID out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. Six forty-three remaining here in the first quarter. Matt Payton, Benji Kelly at the Powell Center. The Lady Tigers jumping out on Freed Hardeman here, eight to nothing. A quick start for Campbellsville's women's team, the number one ranked team, the latest NAIA poll. Freed Hardeman looking for some answers offensively. Campbellsville has shot it really well. They've connected on three of their four attempts to start, two free throws as well. And Freed Hardman has had some decent looks down low. They just ha haven't fallen for them. So Campbellsville's kind of dodged a, a bullet here early. Uh, built this 8-0 lead. Brooks long ahead here. New player into the game for Freed Hardman is Caroline Chambers. And uh, maybe that's all it took for the Mid-South Conference second team member from a year ago, Chambers, to get in. Six-foot junior forward from Santa Rosa, California. 8-2 now the count. Bouncing left wing, holding the ball is Pritchett. Three on the way, that is no good. Rebound, Faith Lake, put back, won't go. Lake again battling. White may have gotten enough of Lake's put back to force the miss. I think so there, just, to, just enough to kind of disrupt it. But it's a good effort there by, by Faith Lake. Brooks pitches one out that Floyd has to just swat up into the air with the right hand to keep it in play. Chambers skips it to White, she's open, block. Lexi Lake got a hand on it, Barnell. Picks it up, and it is no good on the putback. Rebound taken here by Pettigo. BP will push. Leaves it back. Pritchett right wing. Three on the way. That is short. And the board will carry him out of play. It'll go to Freed Hardeman. More changes as Lauren Lee will check in. 5'6", sophomore guard from Liberty, Kentucky. Also in is Shyla Calvert. 5'5", graduate senior guard from Bardstown, Kentucky. And in for the Lions is Alyssa LeMay, 5'10", senior forward from Mount Pleasant, Tennessee. We didn't uh, see her in the starting lineup. It was a bit unusual. We were curious about that, but here she is almost five minutes into the ball game. Yeah, she's averaging 16 points a game, 10 rebounds a game. Uh, um, may have been a little disciplinary in action there, but uh, she's back in the game. Here is Floyd on the pull-up shot just off the elbow. Reagan Floyd makes it an 8-4 to four contest. Lauren Lee, the basketball here for CU. 
Left side, this is Calvert over the top to Wilkes. She'll spin, go up with a shot. That is good for Caitlin Wilkes. It's easy offense, Benji yeah, Kelly. It really is. She can get down low. She can post up. Nobody's going to move her, and she's got some soft hands. Brooks dribbles down, breaks down the defense of Campbellsville, and here Chambers missed a point-blank range shot. She probably hits that in her sleep most nights, and maybe a bit of frustration comes over the back of Caitlin Wilkes. So Chambers picks up her first foul, two on Freed Hardeman as Ashley George re-enters the lineup for CU. It's a good uh, defensive block out there by Caitlin to, uh, to get that rebound. Chambers commits the foul, so. Calvert holds it off the left wing. Now straight away it's Lee. They skip it. Pettigo back to Calvert. Picks up her dribble. Entry pass to McGeorge. She'll go quickly across the lane. Steps called. I thought we might get an and one. They'll call yeah, McGeorge for steps. I think there was a little bit of when she first caught it, she took a couple of quick steps, and that's why he called it. It's a great move, but uh, just uh, the feet got a little little ahead of the body there and, and uh, created the turnover. And number his first turnover of the game. Both teams, uh, here Here we are pretty early, five and minutes, 20 seconds in the game. We've only had two turnovers. Campbellsville will back away from the full court pressure here. Sarah Sutton into the lineup, shooting Sutton, the 5'11", junior forward from Scottsville, Kentucky. She joins Calvert, Lee, Faith Lake, and McGeorge. Right side, Brooks run off the spot by Sutton. Navigates her way around. McGeorge, pull up shot, no good. McGeorge, another rebound for CU. She's got at least three or four already. Here is Lee to push. Left side, Sutton won't shoot it. Back out, Lee orchestrates the offense here. Closing in on a four minute mark, first quarter. Campbellsville leads by six. And here we're gonna have a push. Sutton hit the three, but we're gonna wave off the shot. It will be a push on LeMay as she was fighting through a screen. I think Coach Epperson here, much to his chagrin, thought that that was going to be an offensive foul on the screen from McGeorge. Instead, they get LeMay trying to fight through it. So the first on LeMay, three on the Lions. The foul did save three points because Sutton hit the three-point field goal that they waved off. Lee on the dribble. Out to Sutton. Jumper just inside the arc. No good. Long board chased down by LeMay. And the Lions back to the other end. Brooks back to Floyd. LeMay off the wing. Deep three from LeMay is short. It goes off the arm of McGeorge. It goes out of bounds. It was hard to tell if Chambers uh, got a piece of that as well, but it came off the rim and hit McGeorge. Being that deep, a deep of a shot, uh, just a little short, and it came off a little quicker than uh, Ashley was expecting it, and uh, she got a hand up. Deflected it out of bounds, and the shot clock resets here with 20 seconds. Brooks will check out as White re-enters for Freed Hardeman. White into the corner. LeMay looking here for Varnell. Has her turnaround shot for Varnell is no good. And the rebound to Sutton. Boy, Freed Hardeman has had some really well, good have. looks down inside. They've been unable to connect. You hope it's maybe just one of those nights for the Lions. Lee bounces to Calvert, right there off the wing, left side. Calvert on the drive, going to go all the way, lost the handle, tries to throw it back in off of uh, LeMay there. That's illegal, and it'll be a turnover on Campbellsville. I think she expected Ashley to kind of break that uh, that seal that she had there and was going to try to dish it to her, and, and uh, unfortunately just uh, got up in the air and couldn't do anything with it. Ten to four, Campbellsville leads by six, just over three minutes to play first quarter. Floyd finds Varnell on the baseline, she'll drive. Down the lane there is Varnell, goes up the left hand and gets the finish. Varnell, the quick move there on the baseline for an easy layup. Lauren Lee with the basketball for CU. Sutton off the wing left side. Works towards the right side of the floor. Calvert has it now. Calvert on the dribble, feeds McGeorge. Back out, Calvert with nine to shoot, spins, throws one up. That is no good, ball batted, and we're gonna have a push here on Campbellsville. I believe Calvert may have got into the backside of the Freed Hardeman rebounder. This will be the first on Shyla Calvert. First on Campbellsville as Courtney Pritchett will re-enter for CU. Bit of a low scoring affair here. To start, two and a half, uh, 2.32 to play first period. Wilkes re-enters for Sutton. So you've got Wilkes, Pritchett, Lee, out there with the Great Lakes, Faith and Lexi. Defense! 
Brooks the basketball for free, leaves it with LeMay who surveys. Defended here by Faith Lake. Over to White, left side Brooks. She wanted Barnell, not there. Now driving is White, elbow floater is no good and the rebound taken by Wilkes. Quickly it's Lee now. Lee, a little hesitation. Trailer is Pritchett. Pritchett wants Wilkes, can't get it to her. Now the Lady Tigers will reset. Left side, Pritchett with Brooks defending. Bounce pass, the entry, Wilkes gonna go left side. This time, Caitlin Wilkes, and nice, one. Nice, strong post move. Very, very impressed. It's a couple of possessions that I've seen her play here tonight. Caitlin Wilkes off to a really good start. Special, special pickup here for the Lady Tigers and transfer. I'm just gonna throw this out there. She's a problem. Yeah, she is. I she mean, she's, is a problem. She can uh, definitely uh, post the ball up and or her presence or just soft hands. A little and shimmy there goes left hand. Gosh, free throw's good as well. Yeah, special, special player. Those of you following along on our television streaming uh, video coverage, you see the replay our crew got. Wilkes gets the end one. That foul was on Chambers. That was her second. Four on Freed Hardman as a team. 13 to six, Campbellsville leads by seven. Their largest lead was eight at 8-0. Eight. Oh, here is Odom going across the lane and Wilkes with a little bit of a hip check hip there. check there, yep. And this foul on Wilkes is her first. Allie Crumpler gonna check in, 5'7", senior guard from Lyles, Tennessee. 13-8, Campbellsville the advantage. Odom's free throw is good. And several, oh man, Brooks kind of she wasn't happy with Wilkes. You know, maybe for a little straight arm. There. It was a little push. It's hard there. to tell what happened. Lake off the wing. Went through the hands of Pritchett, but safely to Lauren Lee. And now Lee will come back out front with it. 75 seconds to play first quarter. Faith Lake holds it off the screen from Pritchett. Once Pritchett, ball is knocked back to her on the pass attempt. Into the corner, Lexi Lake, five to shoot. Lexi Lake, free throw line, left side, uh -huh. lost the handle. She was working off the Wilkes screen. It was a nice uh, job by Wilkes to clear out a little room. Lake at the last second, maybe trying to rush it, just went right off her left foot and out of play. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a strong move, but uh, the foot just kind of got in there in the way of the ball and uh, thought she was going to be able to get that layup, but uh, Campbellsville's third turnover here uh, in this ball game. Freed Harbin's once again only turning the ball over one time. Brooks off the wing, back out to Floyd. Lake chases her down. Now Floyd up into the air, finds Crumpler. Entry here to Odom, too far, and they're gonna call Wilkes. Maybe a ticky-tack one here, Benji, as they get Wilkes, maybe a push in the back, perhaps. Maybe, and it's, uh, trying to even this thing out, but uh, Coach Calvin easily gonna sub her out with George. But, uh, really impressed with Caitlin Wilkes and how, how she's looked here early for Campbellsville. George back in for CU. Crumpler to inbound, looking for Floyd. Has her off the wing. Quickly an entry here to Odom. Odom working her way around. McGeorge pitches it all the way back out to White. Now on the baseline, Odom again. Back to the basket, finds Brooks straight away. Three on the way, short. Rebound goes off the hand of Odom. She's able to stay with it. Now comes across the lane. Shot no good on the putback. And a second opportunity here for Odom is good. Yeah, they're, they're pretty strong on the offensive boards. Once again, that was a point of emphasis for Coach Galvin. And uh, you know, the, the statistics are, aren't, aren't showing that they're that shooting that well, but uh, you've got to keep them off the boards. Campbellsville can hold for the final shot of this first quarter. It appears to be what they want to do as Pedigo comes left side to Lake. Eight to play. Pritchett off the elbow, looking, nowhere to go. Pedigo right side, back to Pritchett, open, three on the way, short. May have grazed the front of the iron and fell straight down, and that's where the first quarter will come to a close. Campbellsville with a 13 to 11 lead over Freed Hardman University here in the Powell Athletic Center. We'll step away, take a timeout, come back, bring you second quarter action. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it. He makes fun of his friend who vapes. He would never try it. She's in the soccer. She's on the honor roll. She's just on the table. No way. No way. No way. No way. My kid would never vape. Get your head out of the cloud. Today, nearly 8,000 kids will start vaping. Maybe even yours. Learn about the dangers at talkaboutvaping.org.
Nice look inside the huddle there of the Lady Tigers as Campbellsville is clinging to a two-point lead here. Matt Payton and Benji Kelly in the Powell Athletic Center. Thanks for tuning us in tonight. Whichever of the uh, CU Sports Network avenues you are choosing to do so, whether that's 88.7 The Tiger or 104.7 The Score, that is uh, a station located uh, Barron County. They do some stuff there for Barron County High School. So in that Glasgow, uh, Caverna. Caverna, all that area, we uh, certainly thank those guys, Greg Bowen and the gang at Commonwealth Broadcasting for picking us up this evening and hopefully uh, something that becomes a regular occurrence on yeah. stations for Commonwealth Broadcasting. Nice partnership for us and, and them as well, I hope. Absolutely, and it's uh, once again, it's uh, good to have uh, fans back in the stands, but for those of you that aren't able to, to get here, hopefully you'll be able to uh, uh, enjoy us here on the radio and uh, TV this evening. Back to play for Campbellsville. You've got the starting five out there. And I believe uh, starting five for Freed as well. Brooks, the basketball, comes right side to Floyd. Wants the entry. They've got Odom. Odom on the dribble. Back out to Brooks. Nearly misplays it. White holds it off the wing left side. Now backs away. Eight to shoot. Here is Floyd. Again, the entry. This is Odom. Little contact. Fall away shot. Around and out. No good. Nice block out by Bailey Pettigo. Faith Lake the other way for Campbellsville. That was a textbook block out by Bailey Pettigo. Pettigo back to the middle of the court here for Campbellsville. Pritchett holds it. A lot of motion here for the Lady Tiger offense. They wanted Lake. Nice job defensively for Freed Hardeman to take away that pass. Pettigo. Going to have to take the jumper from 18 feet. No good. Rebound taken by Varnell. She clears out. And Freed Hardeman the other way. They can tie it. Potentially take the lead here with a field goal. Brooks right side. This is White for three. That is long over everything. And the ball gets knocked to Claus. Claus has no eligibility remaining regardless of who's <laughs> under the hood. They're going to keep it with. Freed Hardeman on the dead ball rebound, say last touched by Campbellsville, perhaps McGeorge. Floyd with a nice spin down on the baseline, kicks it out. I thought she had a good look, oh, gave it up, and now back did. to square one. Brooks driving and has it taken away. Good, uh, good that was, I believe that was Lexi that got her hands in there, took it away. Campbellsville, the offensive end, a turnover on Freed Hardeman, a rare turnover. Rare. Left side, Faith Lake. They want the entry to McGeorge. Pritchett going to take the jumper. It's good for Swiss. She, she had the jumper there, but she also had an open McGeorge underneath. She took uh, the, the open shot and was able to drain it. So good to see Courtney uh, not missing a beat here after missing the last couple of games. KJ White with the basketball back out to Floyd. Left side, Brooks. Around the horn they come. They skip now. Right side, this is White. Nice little ball fake. Going to take the pull up, Jay, off the drive. That is no good. Ball is deflected by McGeorge and taken by Lake. Otherwise, it would have been an Odom rebound. Lake leaves it here with Pettigo. Now backs away. Pettigo off the right wing. Here is Lexi Lake. And Lexi Lake steps inside the arc there and takes the mid-range J. That's a, a good confidence builder for Lexi to be able to hit that 18-footer there inside the arc. Yeah, we've got a turnover or a timeout? Timeout. Timeout here is Floyd. Look back. I couldn't tell if uh, what exactly was said, and this will become a media timeout as Freed Hardeman has requested the stoppage. 17 to 11 the score. Campbellsville leads Freed Hardeman in the Powell Athletic Center. 7.27 to play first half. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. If doctors, nurses, and grocery store clerks can wear a mask for 10 or 12 hour shifts, you can wear a mask for an hour or less when you go to the store. Do your part. Mask up America.
Six-point Lady Tiger lead in the PAL Center. Matt Payton and the Hall of Famer Benji Kelly here with you as Campbellsville looks for win number seven on the season. Somebody's going to get win number seven tonight. Uh, we hope it's the team that still has the zero on the right side of the win column. Freed Hardeman with a big win over Division One North Alabama Monday night. And one thing that I noted on the uh, call sheet, Benji, you'll see a lot of minutes played for some of these young ladies. And uh, that's always a slippery slope for coaches in that exhibition matchup. It's a loss for North Alabama, but it never happened for Freed Hardeman. Uh, you're exactly right. It's kind of like uh, the, the men going down to play Murray. Uh, they got beat, but it doesn't count in the loss column, man. But uh, thankfully down there, I think the most minutes that was played was about 22 from a player. Here is Odom down on the low block. There may have been a missed shot there by Brooks. As, uh, no, Odom got her, got her own rebound. Okay, Odom yeah. missed it, and then a putback for Kaylee Odom. Odom, a freshman here. Good-looking freshman for Coach Epperson and company. Four-point Lady Tiger advantage. Calvert to Lee. They want Pritchett. Can't get it to her. Calvert again on the dribble. Stopping. Right side Lee. Won't shoot it. Here's the entry to Pritchett. Back to Lee. She'll drive. Pritchett and handcuffed her. Looking for Pritchett was Lauren Lee and uh, not enough room, not enough space there and I think maybe Pritchett even thought she was going to throw up the floater. Yeah, just a little, little congestion there but uh, Campbellsville with another turnover. Brooks floats one ahead here to White. Now she goes left side to Floyd. Floyd looking for for uh, Odom there, but Pritchett had kind of sealed Odom defensively. Odom couldn't get to it. Campbellsville the other way as Pettigo saved it inbounds. Campbellsville basically with that three point guard lineup out there right now. Calvert playing the two. Pettigo more of the four spot with Pritchett playing some five. Calvert straight away, 10 to shoot. Now Lake on the right side. Six to shoot, Pettigo. Driving here back to the basket, working against White, gets a little room and throws up a shot. She's blocked and fouled. This will go against KJ White, first on White and the first in this entire quarter either way. Four, four, uh, almost four minutes of action there without a foul. 17 to 13, Pedigo goes to the nail. Those listening on 104.7 have heard Pettigo's name across the station a few times, I believe. I believe so. Probably uh, uttered by our old friend Jay Turner. Barron County yes. native. 18 to 13. Pettigo gets both. Six-point Lady Tiger advantage once again as Faith Lake checks in for her twin sister, Lexi. If I'm not mistaken, didn't they make a trip to the, uh, the state tournament, I believe, Bailey's That was Bailey's senior, senior year. year. Yeah. She and Elizabeth Bertram had a good showing. Nineteen to thirteen, Brooks the basketball leaves it with Lemay. Now Odom at the free throw line turns jumper on the way. That is good for Kaylee Odom. Kaylee Odom, a freshman from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, averaging eleven points, two rebounds, but uh, pretty impressed with her game right now. Here is Pedigo, back door finds Fake Lake, stops, no room to go up with it, trying to find a teammate here. Ball was knocked free. Lee comes out of there with it. Nice little ball fake. Lee is fouled. It won't go, but she put the wow. spin cycle on, on Reagan Floyd that time. It was a nice, nice move by Lauren Lee. That's two on, on Odom there, Matt. So uh, Odom here already played some significant minutes uh, in this game. And uh, two fouls here. She's a leading score with seven points. So now Chambers will come back in. Chambers also has two fouls. Free throw here for Lauren Lee. This one is good. 20 to 15 the count. Reagan Purvine going to check in. 5'7 junior guard from Dixon, Tennessee. First time tonight we've seen her. Lee's free throw is good. She gets both. Play will be stopped for a moment as Purvine enters for K.J. White. For the Lady Tigers, you've got Calbert, Faith Lake, and Pedigo in the backcourt. Lee right at midcourt. Courtney Pritchett. Hanging out with Chambers in the front court now as Brooks brings it ahead for Freed Hardeman. Looking for LeMay. Now they go left side to Floyd. Calvert chases her down. Chambers into the right corner to Purvine. Here is Brooks on the drive. Kicks it out. Floyd with the ball fake. Pull up jumper from Floyd. That is short from about 12 feet. Rebound batted out, taken by Calvert, who shovels it back to 
Faith Lake Calvert kind of had that hot potato look to it. Yes, she did. She just wanted to get rid of it. Here is Pettigo on the drive. Throws it out here as we're going to have steps called as Pettigo kind of got between two Freed Hardeman defenders, lost her balance a bit. She will check out as Sarah Sutton will enter for CU. Six point Lady Tiger Lee. Freed Hardeman the basketball. Hervine being hounded here by Calvert. She comes to Floyd just inside the painted area. Dribbles out. Chambers back to Floyd. Open shooter. Three on the way. That is well off the mark. It was, it was really, really deep. Uh, she's almost shooting from uh, about 24, 25 feet. So uh, advantage Campbellsville here. They good close out there to uh, force that long shot. Lady Tigers to the offensive end. I'll tell you, Sutton's about a foot from being in range right there. <laughs> Here is Lee on the drive. The C parts. Lee shot up no good. Rebound to Chambers. Man, I think Lauren Lee may have been surprised at just how open she had gotten herself there. LeMay to Hervine. Pritchett tapped it. Couldn't quite control it. Nice job by the Lady Tigers to disrupt the Freed Hardeman offensive attack. Campbellsville's hands are always moving on defense, Matt. Get a little tip away there by Courtney Pritchett. Floyd pitches it in here to Pervine, who just sends it right back to Floyd, the inbounder, who was right in front of us. Pervine on the baseline. Trap comes, looking for help. She throws it off the leg of Pritchett with 11 seconds now. It goes out of play. 11 seconds on the shot clock, that is. 4.06 remaining in the first half of play. Campbellsville a chance here to once again to set up their defense. LeMay to inbound. Has Floyd back to the inbounder, LeMay. And ball deflected by Lee. Pritchett picked it up, and that's going to be a blocking foul on Floyd. Once again, those hands are always moving, Matt. And a little, little tip pass here. Pritchett was able to step in on a pass and uh, draw the foul there. Uh, Campbellsville committed to or allowed uh, Freed Harbin their fourth turnover of the game. That may be, we'll see when the stats update, that may be their fifth may, individual may check. Be. Here's Sutton off the left wing. Pritchett holds it and leaves it with Calvert. Right side, Lee. Lake over the top, and Floyd takes it away. She was looking for Pritchett. Just a split second too late. Pritchett was open and then kind of slipped her. And here we're going to have a foul called on Courtney Pritchett as she came over the top of Freed Hardeman player. And that's going to be the first on Swiss, first on the Lady Tigers in the period. Varnell back in for Freed Hardeman. I guess uh, Josh Spencer down there, he's getting quick on those stats. He had beaten, so that is four turnovers. Ashley McGeorge going to check back in. You got the feeling, Benji, that Campbellsville needed one of those big posts, McGeorge or, or Wilkes at this stage. Offensively looking for some type of rhythm here as Chambers' driving shot is no good. McGeorge clears another rebound for the Lady Tigers. That ball was halfway down and just bounced out. The defensive rebound by Campbellsville. Lake looking for the lead, ball knocked away by Floyd. She stayed with it. It appears that Coach Epperson's bunch has the Lady Tigers well scouted for this one. She does. And you would expect that, uh, you know, here, this is an important conference game for both teams here early. Well, they all are important, but uh, you can sneak one and get one out here on the road for Freed Hardman. Um, bodes well, because that is a long trip. Inside, nice. that is Lexi Lake finding Ashley McGeorge and a nice job to seal Chambers and get an easy bucket. A nice seal there by Ashley McGeorge. I'll tell you what, at the end of last year, you could just see the, the confidence oozing from Ashley McGeorge and it's carried over here into her senior season. Barnell, a couple of dribbles and looking for somewhere to go with it here. On the shot is LeMay, no good. McGeorge, another rebound. She's yeah. closing in on a half dozen. And has a great defensive effort there by Sarah Sutton as well and a good nice closeout. Campbellsville has matched their largest lead at eight. They can extend it here with a point. Sutton to Lee straight away. Back door. Sutton rolling. Little reverse. No good. And the rebound taken here by Chambers. 
23 to 15 remains the score as Freed Hardeman comes to the front court. Out top of the basketball is Crumpler. Now on around, LeMay into the corner of Arnell. They wanted Chambers, it wasn't there. And now we've got a whistle away from the basketball. This will go against Lauren Lee. They're gonna call Lee for a hold, but when I turned yeah, around, Lee was, was almost in. falling to oh, the yeah, floor. She got a little push there, so it's... Sutton gonna check out. Bailey Pettigo in for Campbellsville. Floyd to inbound. Looking, gonna find Varnell at the last second. Varnell comes in front of the rim, goes up with the left hand. That shot is good for Kinley Varnell. Nice uh, little move there by Varnell. 23 to 17. About time for Edward Jones to pay out some money, Benji Kelly. Yeah, it is. Out top, Faith Blake, now Lee. Lee on the dribble across to Faith Blake once again. This is Pettigo at the free throw line, circles back. Nowhere to go, nine to shoot. Here's Lee on the drive, and she is fouled. I'm not sure. Uh, now, there was contact underneath, but I don't know how that doesn't go against Varnell first up top. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of contact up high and down low, and uh, the official goes with uh, the offensive foul against Lauren Lee. So that'll be two on Lee, three on the Lady Tigers. 90 seconds to go here in the first half. Campbellsville a six-point advantage. Been a kind of a knockdown drag out here in the first half. Neither team has really went on many runs. Back and forth affair. Barnell holds it off the elbow left side. Now Floyd with 13 to shoot. Floyd finds herself with just enough room to let one ride and she sinks it just there off the elbow. It's a four point ball game. 60 seconds to go, Lee between the circles. First half. Faith Lake pitches one into McGeorge. It was deflected by Floyd, and it leads to a Lady Tiger turnover. Brooks to the offensive end. Four-point game. Left side, White run off the spot by Pettigo. She picks up her dribble now, looking for help. This is Chambers across the lane. Throws one up with the right hand. It is good, and it's a two-point game once again. Campbellsville, these last three possessions have given up some easy shots for this Freed Hardman team, and they're finally getting some confidence seeing that ball go through the hoop. Lake. Out top to her twin sister, Lexi. That was Faith to Lexi, 14 to shoot. Lee into the corner, Faith Lake. Now Lexi Lake once again off the Pedigo screen. Six seconds, Campbellsville gonna have to go quickly here. Pedigo bounces, McGeorge across the lane. Right yes, hand, sir. The McGeorge beats the shot clock. Six seconds remaining, first half. Floyd Long ahead, this is White. She's unaware of the time, driving, bounces. No, and that's where the first no half good. will come no to good. a close. Campbellsville, a four point advantage, 25 to 21 as they get the late bucket by Ashley McGeorge, a smooth customer down inside right there, Benji oh, Kelly, able to man. beat the buzzer. It really Tigers that are listening here tonight, we'd encourage you to get back, have a chance to uh, celebrate with Coach Wise, and then we'll do it pregame uh, before uh, tip off of the uh, game against Lady Tigers in Bethel. So. Uh, really looking forward to uh, recognizing her, and, and once again, it's well-deserved, and it's long overdue, but uh, the timing is always right, and we look forward to uh, celebrating with her and her family. Our coverage begins at 1.30 on Saturday as Campbellsville uh, will dedicate the floor. We'll be here. Our television coverage begins at 1.30. Radio will pick up Saturday at 2 o'clock as we'll focus our efforts on the visual side of things Saturday afternoon. And back to play here, Campbellsville with the basketball. Pritchett going to work back to the basket out. It's Pettigo three on the way. Bang, Bailey Pettigo's third. Edward Jones three of the season. She's three for three from deep. Three for three from deep, but uh, one of one here tonight. Our first Edward Jones three here this evening. Odom has the basketball here for Freed Hardeman. Lexi Lake nearly got in there in a back tap. Floyd wants to penetrate, kicks it to Brooks in the short corner. Now Brooks back across. This is White straight away. Three on the way, no good. And the rebound to Pritchett. I really expected White to have the answer there. Neither I team know. hitting one in the first half. Lake, she's open. Three, no good. And the rebound going to be chased down by her twin sister, Faith. Lexi had a good look. Lexi needs one to uh, break a tie at 204 with Farrah Sullivan. 
Farrah Sullivan who could play. And actually, Farrah, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, was here under uh, Coach Wise, uh, late, late in Coach Wise's career. So this ball deflected and knocked out of play. Nine on the shot clock here, 8.54 to play in the third quarter. Had to go inbound. And has it back. Lake open. Three on the way. Bang. Lexi Lake. Another Edward Jones three. Back to back. Yeah. You, the Tigers. And what you see here is a couple of uh, offensive changes. Uh, plays that uh, Coach Calvin did not run in the first half. Good, two good looks for the Lady Tigers here early. Build ten, a ten point lead. Ten points is the largest margin of this basketball game. Floyd holds it off the right wing. Pitches it down into the corner. White on the dribble now. Outside the lane. Lost the handle on the way up. And she's going to get a foul call here against Ashley McGeorge. Looked like White had lost that, Benji, on the way up. And uh, caught a bit of a break, perhaps. Uh, a little bit of break. She may have uh, had a little bit of body kind of stepped into may have it. May caused her to lose it. Yeah, but uh, all in all, good defense there by Ashley McGeorge to get a hand up. Free throw no good for K.J. White. 50% on the season for the youngster from Trenton, Tennessee. One more, and this one is good. So she gets one of two, makes it a nine point contest. Had to go the basketball for CU. Leaves it with Lake off the right wing, open three. Bang! Lexi Lake and Edward Jones three, two for the sharpshooter from Harrodsburg. And this forces Coach Emerson to take a timeout, 34-22 the score. We've reached a media stoppage here. 8.09 to play in the third quarter. You're following the Lady Tigers. This is the Campbellsville University Sports Network. The thing that drives me every day as a dad is him. Every day he's hungry for something. And there's this huge responsibility in making sure that he's a good person. I think the advice I would give is you don't need to know all the answers. It's okay to make mistakes. As long as it's coming from love, then it kind of starts to work itself out. Four twenty-two. the score. The Lady Tigers have dialed up that long-range offense here in the second half, Benji Kelly. Well, you, you, as we talked there at halftime, uh, the, the adjustments that are always made at halftime, three, three plays that they have run, two for Lexi Lake, one for Bailey Pedigo. They didn't even run them in the first half. And, uh, you know, open looks. They've uh, t stepped up, drained them, and uh, Campbellsville has built this 12-point uh, lead here early here in the third quarter. So great adjustments by Coach Galvin and her team. And kudos to those young ladies shooting the basketball. You can draw off the plays and you can you have the open looks, but you gotta make gotta them. You gotta make them. Uh, and you're exactly right. It's good to see Lexi getting a, a couple makes there because offensively she struggled a little bit this year early. Reed Hardman on the offensive end here. This is Brooks. She finds a little lane left side of the paint and we're gonna have a blocking foul called against Courtney Pritchett. That'll be two on Swiss here. Yeah. Two on the Lady Tigers in the third quarter. Courtney kind of slid in just a little bit too late there. I uh, love the effort, but uh, just kind of a half a second too slow and uh, got the blocking call against her. Brooks scoreless on the night, hits the free throw here. She is pretty much automatic at the line by today's standards, 85% at the strike. It's impressive. Free throw number two here for Brooks. I'll take credit for that one, ladies and gentlemen. That is the broadcaster's jinx. There you go. 34-23 as Brooks gets one of two. Had to go looking for Lake on the handoff. Has her, but uh, nowhere to go with it. Finally leaves it with Pritchett. And the entry pass for McGeorge is taken away here. Brooks has it as Odom and Pritchett were both on the floor. Long ahead to White. White backs away. Floyd has it. Odom at the free throw line, faces up. Defenders flash out, but Odom still able to get a shot up. No good, and the rebound to Varnell. Another offensive board here for Freed Hardeman. Varnell throws up a floater over the top of Pritchett that is good. Those second chance points there by Varnell. She's uh, most of her points there down about six, seven feet from the basket. Once again, Campbell's has got to keep him off that offensive board. Out top, Pedigo finds Lake here, 34-25. Pedigo again now, left side. 
Off the McGeorge screen. Pettigo leaves it out with Pritchett. Pritchett wanted McGeorge. She wasn't there. Eight to shoot. Pettigo looking. She has oh, Odom. Push. Yep. Odom going to be called, and that's uh, that's one freshman just couldn't. Or did they call a kick? I thought they had Odom for a foul. They're going to say kick ball on Odom. Didn't quite see that. He had a much better angle than, than I did, but uh, it does give Campbellsville some time to work here. Pritchett with a quick shot. She may not have known that that reset because she caught it and threw it up. That could have, of course, been the design of that play as well. Brooks long left side to Floyd, and we're going to have a they laid the foul shot Pritchett. off. Yeah. They're going to get Pritchett before the shot. Did it go in? I missed it. Did, yes, did it did, yes. It did go, go in. in. Oh, they're going to count it now. Yeah, it was, it was fouled before the shot. Oh, what about the first half? Yeah, it was well before the shot. The, the contact was well before the shot. That's that's not, uh, that's a little rough. And that's three on Pritchett, maybe the bigger deal here. I think Ginger may want an explanation here, at least. Thirty-four twenty-seven. Here is Freed Hardman will inbound. Barnell the basketball. She's going to throw up a floater in the lane, and that is good. What a trip! Wow, for that Freed Hardman. Five-point trip right there, and just like that, it's a five-point game. Campbellsville had it the twelve for a moment. Lake the basketball on around to Pedigo. Entry here. This is Pritchett. Nice job by Courtney Pritchett down inside. That was a great entry pass by Bailey Pettigo. Nice little offensive set there for the Lady Tigers. 36 30 entry pass here for Odom. Spinning. Odom retreats there. Little turnaround shot. No good. Ball on the floor. Odom wins the battle and now inside. Pritchett had to stay off of Barnell. She has those three fouls. Better go back to the front court here. Lake inside. This is Wilkes hard off the back of the iron. I was straight lined. I don't know, Zach and Jordan, if you're down there, you can hear me. My monitors went down. I don't know if uh, batteries are dead or what, but uh, I'm, I'm flying blind here from a television standpoint. 36-32, Odom the basketball. Little ball fake wants to drive. Ball was deflected. Odom going to be called for her third foul. That's a big swing here. What well, is a big swing? Pedigo takes the contact. Odom's third and the first on three Hardman in the period. Changes for Campbellsville. We've probably seen the last of Pritchett for a bit. Lee checking in for CU. And number 10. Calvert going to enter as well. Faith Lake will exit. So you've got Calvert, Pettigo, Lexi Lake in the front court. Wilkes and Lee in the back court. Lee with it right side. Looking for Wilkes down low. Here we've got a whistle. Calvert went to the deck, and we're going to have a foul here on. It's the third foul that we've seen pushing through a screen like that for both teams. They're either setting some really good screens. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, a bunch of bullies out there, one of the two. Lee bounces into Pedigo here, shovels it back to Lee. She'll drive across the lane now, nice. goes over the right hand. Nice finish there for him, for Lauren Lee. Nice aggressive move. Well, and what she did, she read the defense there, and they, they, they were anticipating a pass down low in the, in the paint, and she just kept dribbling. Underneath, this is Floyd. She gets a little separation and able to well, this is like one. A, this is like a prize fight right here. Lauren Lee on the dribble here. 38-34, Campbellsville leads it by four points. Had to go looking for Lexi Lake back door, wasn't there. Now Pettigo on the handoff to Lee. Gets it back, eight to shoot. Pettigo left side of the lane. Leaves it, Wilkes underneath. That's good for Caitlin Wilkes. Bailey Pettigo sets it up. What a bounce pass by Bailey Pettigo. 40 to 34. Campbellsville leads it by a half dozen. Varnell on the drive, back out to Chambers. 
Here is Brooks driving, now LeMay in the corner. LeMay thought about a little step back three that's taken away by Campbellsville. Floyd now open, she'll hoist one from straight away. That's off the mark. Pettigo had the rebound. It was knocked out of her hands by Brooks. Good job by Pettigo there. Uh, Wilkes was right there as well. But uh, limiting that to one shot, that's going to be key going down as this game continues to get tight like that. You've got to make sure that you keep them to one shot at a time. Don't give up those extra offensive rebounds. 40 to 34, the score. The Lady Tigers lead by six, 356 to play in the third quarter. You're following Lady Tiger basketball on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. We don't have time for delays. Ready! We don't have time for spells. Next. We don't have time for setbacks. Let's be real. Getting the flu shot helps you fight the flu. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you too. to 34 the score the lady tigers lead freed hardeman university here in the Powell athletic center matt payton and benji kelly with you here along all avenues of the campbellsville university sports network kevin probes giving me a hard time there yeah, well you know i, I thought kinda, it I but i didn't say that, it i did word that kind of poorly well I, uh, you, you did but you kind of came back and, and said while you were here yeah that I, sort of thing i put so. about 15 years on you there quickly <laughs> i have uh, been alive for her whole career yeah there you i just go. did not that, know that, about that's it what i meant to, you know the early 90s but uh anyhow i'm just appreciate uh, kevin uh, getting my back there he told me i should give you a swift elbow to show well, you how, how was, young i am uh, that was uh, <laughs> i was deserving of a swift elbow at that point here pedigo looking left side this is calvert short corner faith lake back around the horn they come they're gonna leave it with lauren lee here 12 to shoot lee on a crossover frees herself up twice goes up off glass shot good for lauren lee stop it lauren lee that's a special lauren player right lee. there lauren lee three crossovers and uh absorbed the contact and hit a nice little layup good pick good uh, good job there by lauren lee inside shot for white no good ball batted white comes out of there with it she was the shortest player of all the the two or the three down there Came out of there with it. Here's a three by Crumpler. That is no good. Lauren Lee gets knocked to the floor. And this will be a foul against KJ White. That's her second. Got a little replay here, I think, with the crossover. Is it coming? No. Uh, I can't. Well, we can't really tell what's what. It's been cutting out. I don't know if we've got a little interference there, here or what. Here comes the replay as they wait for Pettigo. to go up. Maybe not. Tricked us. Pettigo on the other end pitches it in here to Lauren Lee. The, uh, the monitor's awful flaky here. We're gonna leave it where we have it. Lee again trying to get to the rim, draws another foul. This one against KJ White as well. That's gonna be three on White. And it'll be three on Freed Hardeman in this third quarter. 42-34, I'm afraid to touch the monitor, Benji. We'll have to we'll just leave it there. It went, went kind of dark on us. A little flaky. Had to go has it. 20 on the shot clock here, less than three minutes to play in the period. Left side, Lee circles. Back out top, it's Calvert, she'll drive. Right side of the lane, off glass, around and out, no good. Rebound taken by Crumpler, not a bad look for Calvert, maybe a little off balance, perhaps. Brooks flips it back to Floyd in the middle of the floor. Eight point Lady Tiger advantage. LeMay run off the spot, step back off one dribble. Three is hard, rebound taken by Pettigo. Numbers here for the Lady Tigers. Pedigo will push, middle of the lane, back out, Faith Lake shovels it back, Lauren Lee, ball fake, drives, bounces, Wilkes up, good for Wilkes, Lauren Lee once again. Wow, Lauren Lee has come to play here in this second half. Uh, she could have settled for that three, but penetrated there and found an open Caitlin Wilkes, nice bounce pass. LeMay gonna be fouled here. They're gonna call a foul on Wilkes in the closeout. I believe it's on uh, Faith Lake there. Yeah, that's reaching, much reaching better. Over the, reaching over the top. That's the first on Faith. It would have been the third on Wilkes. Good, good trade off there. 44-36, Campbellsville the advantage. By far the most uh, offensive output of any quarter of this basketball game here. The two teams already totaling for 34 points. LeMay makes it a three-point trip. 
Pettigo falls down there. She appears to be okay. I think she's got a little feet, a little tangled there on the block out. Seven point margin. CU with it, Lauren Lee. Growing up right in front of our very eyes here, Benji Kelly wanted the back door, not there. Working against Floyd, Bob, they're check. gonna call a foul here. Uh, I'll tell you, I mentioned that Wilkes was gonna be a problem. Lauren Lee's gonna be a problem too, because she's still got three more years left if she wants it. Well, she does, and we kind of saw that at the end of last year, Matt, in postseason play, how Lauren Lee just kind of really grew up, and uh, the game slowed down for her, and she was just able to kind of pick the defense apart, and we're seeing a little bit of that here, here in this second half. Lauren Lee at the line, two shots coming her way. And gets that one to hang on to the rim there. Friendly bounce at home in the pal. That's what the, uh, that's what the back spin will do for you right there. Good rotation. Free throw here is good for Lauren Lee as well. 46-37 the margin. Campbellsville the advantage. 147 to play in the third quarter as Brooks brings it ahead. Ooh, she may have gotten away with a carry yeah, right she there. Did. Bouncing inside for uh, Odom. Brooks had pitched that in there for Odom, got knocked away by Campbellsville. For the Lady Tigers, you have uh, Calvert, Lee, Pedigo, Lexi Lake, and Wilkes on the floor. Odom wants Brooks inside, a little too high, but Brooks wow. does a nice job to jump up there, grab it, turn, and get the field goal. 46-39 to count, 90 seconds to play in the period. Campbellsville the advantage. And the basketball, Lexi Lake far side. And we've got a whistle here. This is going to go yeah. against Brooks, I believe. Or they called on four, they called on Crumpler. And that's going to be, that's a shooting, that's five. Somebody's going to go to the free throw line, Pettigo. So Bailey Pettigo goes to the nail here. Four other uh, Lady Tigers retreat to the backcourt. Free throw good for the Southpaw from Barron County High School. And those of you listening that way on 104.7 The Score, thank you for tuning us in tonight. Had to go with one more. This one's good. Looked like that was going to be a little hard and pop off, but stays down. 48-39 the count. Reed Hardeman trails by nine. Brooks operates. Being pressured by Calvert. Here's Odom, turn, quick face-up jumper, no good. Rebound to Calvert, she wants to run. Long ahead, it's Lee. Left side of the lane, stops. Now accelerates again, right side, looking for some help as she's cut off. Calvert, back out, Lake. Lexi Lake leaves it with Calvert off the wing. Three on the way, that's gonna be off to the right. And the rebound to Floyd. Not a bad look Not there for Not a bad Shai. look at all. A good, good penetration there by the Lady Tigers. Entry here, it's Odom again, working. And soft touch for Odom, very patient there. Didn't rush that, Benji waited, came across, and a nice little follow away what, shot. She's gonna have a special career there at Freed Hardman as a freshman uh, from Tennessee. Makes you wonder how they got her out uh, of Murfreesboro. Exactly. You think that's little, Cumberland it's, University territory. Well, that in the uh, MTSU uh, area, I mean, she's got, she's got some skills to her. Pass deflected, it'll go into the backcourt. It's Floyd, there's 10 to shoot here, about a, Eight second or so differential. Lee going to go to work on the dribble crossover. Ball's deflected. Three seconds. Turnaround shot is short. Rebound tapped out by Lexi Lake. Six seconds. Pedigo slows down, looking for some help. Calvert on the dribble. Two seconds. Throws up a runner. Won't go. And that's where the third quarter will come to a close. But a big offensive rebound for Campbellsville. A nice little smart play by Lexi Lake to tap it out to get an opportunity for a last second shot, but uh, good, good quarter there by Campbellsville University Lady Tigers. Swiss coming over and checking in here, so I'm sure we're gonna go back with the starters, but great third quarter there by the Lady Tigers. 48-41 the score, Lady Tigers lead it by seven, 10 minutes to go. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Yeah. If you get COVID-19, you'll recover after a few days. That myth is false. We're only just beginning to understand the effects of COVID-19 on the human body. As we're starting to see more and more people identifying as long haulers who are having symptoms for weeks, if not months after their initial infection. Continue to wear a mask, socially distance, and wash your hands. Together, we can keep COVID out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com.
48-41, Matt Payton, Benji Kelly, courtside at the Powell Center. You got a face full of stats there, Benji. Anything jump out at you? Uh, well, free throw shooting for Lady Tigers, 11-11, uh, with several uh, extra rolls there up on the rim to kind of help for that. But uh, obviously here the difference in that third quarter was the three-point shooting of uh, the Lady Tigers coming out and, uh, and hitting three uh, to uh, one of Freed Hardman. So uh, seven-point game, it's, two, it's three possession game. Uh, so once again, uh, see what kind of adjustments each team makes here in this fourth quarter. But uh, as we talked at the top of the broadcast, Matt, we knew that this was going to be a, a barn burner of a game, and it is for three quarters has played out exactly just like that. The two teams take very good control of the basketball in that period, one turnover each way. Yes. It will be Freed Hardeman basketball to start this fourth quarter. Campbellsville with a seven-point lead. Floyd looking to get it in here to Barnell, the transfer from Florida College. Florida College actually discontinued their program or shut their program down. They mentioned that they hope to bring it back, but it sent several of their players out as transfers. Varnell, one of them, and she's been a dandy for Coach Epperson here in the early going. Brooks leaves one underneath for Varnell, and she's going to go to the free throw line here. Lauren Lee tried to be on the help side there and just uh, kind of got a little bit out of possession and uh, Varnell a chance to here to go to the free throw line where Freed Hardman tonight is four of six. Varnell hits that free throw. Lauren Lee's third foul of the basketball game. First on Campbellsville in the period. Varnell, I mentioned the transfer from Florida College. She was their leading scorer a year ago, nearly 14 points a game, almost nine rebounds. Hits both free throws. It is uh, their eighth point here tonight for Varnell. Lexi Lake had oh, a little space there. She looks for Wilkes, and that ball was deflected. Lee, Pritchett, Wilkes, and the Great Lakes out there for Campbellsville. 9.29 to play in the fourth quarter. Lee looking, gonna have to go here. Finds Wilkes and right back to the inbounder, Lee. Smart play by Wilkes there just to come and, and get the ball inbounds. Lee defended here by Brooks. Spinning, falling away. Now gonna actually throw it out here. This is Faith Lake. Wilkes inside, out. Pritchett, three to shoot. Pritchett spins, two seconds, shot up, no good. It did not hit the rim. Pritchett caught it and kind of waited for a split second. I don't think it hit the rim. It did not. It did not hit the rim. There may be a little contact there, but uh, nothing to warrant a foul. But um, it was just straight off the backboard and right back to, to, to Courtney. Forty-eight, forty-three, five-point game. Brooks far side of the floor, driving, kicking it out, open shooter. Here we got a whistle, and this will go against Brooks, I believe, as she was on the drive, never slowed down and ran over Caitlin Wilkes. That's hard to do. Wilkes, a six-foot-two junior. Well, good job by, by Caitlin there to uh, hold her ground. And a lot of times you'll see that as players coming in and they're kind of on the move, making that pass. They don't stop their momentum, and it uh, creates an opportunity for a, a charge there. 48-43, Lee bounces left side to Lexi Lake. They want Wilkes, haven't been able to get it to her. Now they do, Wilkes quick move, hard. And the rebound batted and controlled by Lexi Lake. She bounces it out to Pritchett, who's contacted there, no call. Here's Lee on the drive, working against LeMay. Up, oh, they'll wave it off. On the floor. Woo, I wanted that one, I did too. Kelly. I wanted that one too. So this will be the second on LeMay. Matt, this is uh, this got a little feel of postseason action here. Well, we game. talked about these are two heavyweights they in the are. NAI, and it's you know always fun and seem to be classics when these two get together. Here is Pritchett again. They want Wilkes, and we're gonna have a foul called on Odom. And that's gonna be four on Odom. Big moment in the ball game here as she picks up number four with 8:29 to play. In the fourth. Yeah, Odom, uh, five of 13 tonight, five rebounds, 11 points. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of their, almost 25% of their scoring has come from her here tonight. So here is Campbellsville back to work. Lee out for the basketball. Campbellsville still without a player in double figures here. Pritchett inside Wilk, spinning bump up. Good off glass for Caitlin Wilk. She's not in double long. figures I now. Say, not for long, Matt. You kind of you called that one. Special player, this Caitlin Wilkes. Brooks 
with it. Freed trails by seven. Left corner, this is Floyd. Into the middle of the floor. Barnell spinning, looking for some help. LeMay is open. Three on the way for LeMay is hard. And the long board tracked down by Floyd. Brooks straight away, won't shoot it. She'll drive inside across the lane to Varnell. Nice offense there for Freed Hardeman. Nice offense. Varnell already uh, 13 points. I believe she's their leading scorer of the transfer from Florida College. Lee, right side here to Lexi Lake. Wilkes going to stalk, set the screen. We come left side to Lee. 13 to shoot. Lee on the drive, backs away from Chambers. Lee again, bounces. Pritchett can't get it to Wilk. She does find the sharpshooter Lake. Three, no good, and the rebound taken by Varnell. It's a five-point margin. Floyd long ahead to Chambers. Chambers throws up a shot, no good. Nice job by Lee down there for Campbellsville. She helps force that miss. She did, just enough uh, presence there to, uh, to cause the miss. So Campbellsville didn't have the numbers there, but Lauren Lee came away with an easy. Uh, Inside, Wilkes yes. up, left hand good. Yes, very special player. Look, I'm so glad that we got her. She, we, we needed that post presence, and uh, Caitlin Brooks obviously gives it for us. 52-45, media stoppage here as the Lady Tigers take a timeout. We'll be right back. Campbellsville leads it by seven. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it. He makes fun of his friend who vapes. He would never try it. She's in the soccer. She's on the honor roll. She's just not the type. No way. No way. No way. No way. My kid would never vape. Get your head out of the cloud. Today, nearly 8,000 kids will start vaping. Maybe even yours. Learn about the dangers at talkaboutvaping.org. Fifty-two forty-five. Campbellsville leads. Freed Hardeman here at the Powell Center. Matt Payton and the Hall of Famer Benji Kelly here with you for this Mid-South Conference doubleheader. Tigers coming up in just a moment. Should be a fun one on the men's side. Brent Vernon's club seven and three. The Lions for Coach Drew Stutz six and two. That's going to be a fun one. But uh, still feel like we've got a lot of things to figure out in this uh, this basketball game here with 6.48 to play. We, we really do. Six minutes, 48 seconds. Uh, as we said, it, it's two-storied programs. This is feels like a, a postseason game, prize fight. Anything you can do, I can try to do a little better. And it, uh, right now, it's a, it's a Caitlin Wilk show. She is putting on an offensive exhibi exhibition down low that anytime they get her the ball, she can pretty much do whatever she wants. So look for that to, ha to happen more and more often. You know, the most impressive thing about Wilkes is it's quick and it's decisive. Quick, it, it there's is. no, it's not a back to the no. basket, let me work and grind and this and that. It is boom, boom, there's the move and the ball's up. That's exactly right. And she can shoot it with her right and left hand. 52-45, ball deflected, but it's knocked away to Chambers. Another deflection, but it's KJ White to pick it up for Freed Hardeman. A third deflection on this trip for Campbellsville. They still can't take it away. Here is Floyd open, three on the way. That is no good. And Lexi Lake falling to her keister as she grabbed that rebound. Yeah. And a tough break there. She got a little tangled up and lost her footing. Good, good effort there by the Lady Tigers. Once again, getting their hands on deflections. Our hands are always moving, and and uh, Lexi just kind of came in there. She may have got her feet tangled up with someone, uh, but once again, I uh, love the efforts of the Lady Tigers here. Brooks to inbound, pitches it out deep to Chambers, and now Floyd with it. New 30 for Freed Hardeman to operate with here after the turnover. Brooks, a jumper, no good. Nice job blocking out there by Wilkes. She's able to run it down. Good job by Caitlin Wilkes. That's her uh, third rebound here. 52-45. Lee bounces off the elbow. It's Wilkes. Leaves it with Pritchett. Dribbling towards Faith Lake. Looking back door. Ball's kicked away by Floyd. And uh, Pritchett and, and <laughs> Ginger High Coleman kind of made the same face there. They both grimaced knowing they had one. Floyd, uh, to her credit, able to get the uh, winkle picker on it. Benji <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Wilkes holds it off the left wing. Now Faith Lake leaves it with Lauren Lee. 
13 seconds. Lee wanted the entry, not there. Back to Lee. Right side, too far. Lee a little too much on it over the head of Lexi, or excuse me, Faith Lake. And the turnover gives it back to Freed Hardeman here. 52-45 the count. Closing in on five and a half minutes to go. Right side, Brooks. Back over to the left side, this is Floyd. Entry, Chambers, did a nice job getting around Wilkes, and I don't know how Wilkes avoided a foul down there, to be honest, as Chambers, and talk about letting them play. Lee to the other end. Lee, right side, goes up right hand. Good for Lauren Lee. Coast to coast, Lauren Lee. Big basket right there. I'll tell you what, that cheer in this facility for the Lady Tigers is something that just gives you goosebumps. It's it been is. a while since we've really heard it quite that way. Here, Lexi Lake gonna be called on the block out. Uh, she was trying to clear LeMay. LeMay able to grab it, and Lake will be assessed the personal. Wilkes gonna check out for Campbellsville. LeMay pitches it in to Floyd, who wants to drive. She stops, kicks it out to White. Now Brooks open, won't shoot it. Here is a three from LeMay that is no good. And the rebound to Campbellsville. That foul on Lexi Lake was her first. Two on the Lady Tigers. Lee right side working against LeMay. Back out to Pedigo. She and Calvert had checked in a moment ago. Lee once again with it. 11 to shoot. Lee skips it left side. Pritchett open three. Short long board is going to be grabbed by Chambers. Good look there by Courtney Pritchett. Floyd to the other end. Nine point Lady Tiger lead. Just over four minutes to play. Chambers steps into a mid range shot that rolls all the way around and out. Oh my. Pedigo. They call Bailey Pedigo for a foul there. Wilkes got away with. She did. Armed robbery compared to what <laughs> Pedigo did right there. You're exactly right. But uh, Campbell's little chance here to set up their defense. Nine point Campbellsville lead. Floyd waiting, kind of stagnant. She looks for Brooks, has her off the block left side. Nowhere to go. Now LeMay, she's due. Three on the way. That is good. Yeah, you can keep that shooter down. That's uh, their second made three here in, four, or in 15 tries. So. Statistically, not shooting the ball really well from downtown, but that is a big three by Freed Hardman. 346 to play, Lee with it. Now Calvert to Pedigo. Back to Calvert into the corner. Here's Lake. Pritchett working back to the basket. Quick move and one for Swift. That's right. She's doing a little body slam in there. Courtney Pritchett, she is uh, excited to be back. And, uh, Chance for a three-point play here. Lady, I'm sorry, Matt. The Lady Tigers have really missed her the last couple of games. Good to see her presence back out there again. Well, I like it. You needed a bucket, and uh, your leader, That's she right, was going right up. there. Back to the basket. She was going to make a move and get a, get a hoop. Hits the uh, free throw here. That foul on LeMay was her third. Four on Freed as a club, and it is a nine-point lead once again, 57-48. Chambers to Floyd. Chambers again at the free throw line, wants to drive against Wilkes, and they're gonna get Wilkes this time. That's actually pretty good defense there by Caitlin Wilkes, and just a good offensive move there by, by Chambers. Chance to go to the free throw line here, where she's shooting 67% uh, from the field. Got a little bit of blood here on uh, Lexi Lake, so. Had to go checked out for Campbellsville. As, uh, I believe it was it Lauren Lee that checked back in there, Benji? Or? I believe so, yes. Had to go exits. Lake gonna visit with Josh Williams, try to get the um, blood or whatever that may be squared away. They're gonna start the clock here on Lexi Lake. She's got 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I think, to get it remedied. Those following along on television can see the replay here. This is the Pritchett and one makes the move against LeMay. Just a strong back down there from <laughs> Pritchett. Lauren. 
free throw here for Chambers is good. 57-49. Chambers, Mid-South Conference second team member. She didn't play against Brescia or in the uh, exhibition against Northern Alabama. Back at it tonight for Coach Epperson's bunch. Hits the second free throw, and Barnell will enter for K.J. White. She's from Santa Rosa, California. That is a long ways from home. Quite the commute. Quite the to commute. Henderson, Tennessee. That's exactly right. 57-50, Lady Tigers lead by seven. They got the basketball here in the hands of Lauren Lee. The super sophomore goes to work. Pritchett left side. Wanted the entry, not there. Now working is Wilk. She gets it to her up. Wilkes too hard. Rebound for Wilk. She's fouled. And Caitlin Wilkes going to work once again. She'll go to the free throw line here. Way to stay with it, Caitlin Wilkes. And a great entry pass there by Courtney Pritchett. Chance here for Wilkes to go to the free throw line to extend this lead back out to nine, Matt. Odom back in for Freed Hardeman. She had had to sit there, uh, picked up that fourth foul at 829. So here she comes back in with about three minutes or so to play in the ball game. Wilkes free throw here well off the mark. Wilkes leading Campbellsville offensively tonight. She has 13. Be a good time for point number 14 here at least. Free throw on the way. This one is beautiful. And Wilkes. And we're going to check out Bailey Pettigo in. She won't go too far. No, she she I call no, she points to just my to, chair. Just to give her a breather and uh, probably the next next possession or uh, have an opportunity to, to get her back in the game. 58-50, Lady Tigers by eight. Number one, Campbellsville trying to hold off this upstart Freed Hardeman bunch that Coach Epperson has rolled out there tonight. Barnell inside, throws one up off glass, no good. And oh, Ooh. Bailey hit her head there, Varnell. Mm. You know, the one thing for, for females, typically you get that ponytail and yeah. I think it can offer a little protection. If a guy like me did that, I'd have been unconscious. Uh, I started to say I'd have been out. 58-50. <laughs> Follically challenged. Had to go get a breather. She says she's okay. She's tough. If we ask her what her name is and she says Sarah Kate, we got a problem. <laughs> Sarah Kate, her older sister, was our graduate assistant for several years yeah. here. Campbellsville will work against a little full court pressure. 58-50. Lee quickly ahead, able to get a step down the lane. Bounces. Wilkes up. Won't go. Rebound is tapped. Going to be controlled by Faith Lake. Here's Lee again on the drive. Bounces Wilkes up. She gets the hoop. Lauren Lee, the outlook. She is special, Lauren Lee. Coach Galvin just looked at me and was like, yep, that's my sophomore. Got one right there. That's my <laughs> sophomore with three more years of eligibility. That's LeMay right. smooth down inside, gets the bucket. The answer for Freed Hardman back to an eight-point margin. Woo. All deflected there, but it comes to Lee in the circle at midcourt, working here against Brooks. 60 to 52 the score, less than two minutes to play. Lee bounces to Faith Lake. They want Wilkes again, they've got her. Double team comes and Wilkes tries to throw it out of there. It's deflected and stolen. She just needs to, to, to go ahead and go up with it. Brooks leaves it with Odom on the baseline. Now they skip it to White straight away. Three on the way, that is no good. Pritchett the rebound for CU. Pritchett. Leaves it here with Lee, and she'll slow down. 90 seconds to go. Use the clock here. And Brooks actually looks over and says, this is me trying to I foul. I am trying <laughs> to foul here. They've got to stop the clock. Lauren Lee, a chance to go to the free throw line here. Campbellsville in the bonus. Coach Epperson going to start early, and I don't hate this strategy because you got to extend when you, the game. You go one or two more possession, then you don't have enough time. Here, yeah. the hope is you can extend this and make Campbellsville shoot 10 to 12 free throws That's right. and miss you, six of them. Well, and what you do is you get yourself an opportunity to have extra possessions. If, like you say, if you let it play out, the shot clock roll down, you've only got a couple possessions here. But he's trying to extend the game. Uh, but Lauren Lee steps up, nails both of them. Lee hits both, and one thing that could do, Benji, if you hit a couple free throws and you get a couple of stops, then it ends the game, the game even earlier. Yeah, that's right, exactly right. But uh, Campbellsville uh, has played extremely well here in this second half, offensively and defensively. Boy, to the nice spin move, leaves it with Brooks in the baseline. She's gonna throw up a jumper, no good. Rebound to Lexi Lake, and here now, 
Campbellsville the chance to extend once again. Pedigo will get fouled by Brooks. And now this is the point here, Benji. You get two and another stop, and that might That's, be it. That should do it, yeah. I mean, you know, right now you're at three possessions, or actually four possessions. Even with who made here, it's still a four-possession game. But uh, Campbellsville has uh, handled this pressure here from Freed Hardman um, here in this second half. This has been a heck of a game. Pettigo's free throw is good. Bailey Pettigo with now 10 points, seven assists in this basketball game. She is as unassuming and, and non-flashy as you'll ever see. You're exactly right. But she's as solid as you'll, she's you'll, so, you'll she's ever She's so get. smart. Her and Lauren yeah. Rebo, well, they complemented to each other and you can bring Shiley in, you know, with the energy that the, that the, the, the hyperactivity that Shyla has. I mean, it's just a great little trio there of guards that Coach Dalvin has. Pedigo hits both, pass deflected. I thought Calvert had a steal. This might be the ball game here as Odom throws up a shot. It's good. So that yes. may keep Coach Epperson uh, aggressive as he calls a timeout with 102. Odom has been phenomenal tonight for Freed Hardeman. This becomes a full stoppage, or it is a full stoppage for Coach Epperson, I should say. 102 to go. Campbellsville leads by 10, 64 to 54. You're following the Lady Tigers. This is the Campbellsville University Sports Network. If doctors, nurses, and grocery store clerks can wear a mask for 10 or 12 hour shifts, you can wear a mask for an hour or less when you go to the store. Do your part. Mask up, America. One oh two to play. Campbellsville, a 10-point lead, 64-54. Benji Kelly, the Hall of Famer to my left. I'm Matt Payton. Thanks for tuning in tonight, so whether that is uh, along radio, 88-7 the Tiger, also 104-7 the score. We thank you for joining us. Video and streaming coverage also available. 64-54, Campbellsville. Gets it inbounds. Now Lauren Lee has the basketball far side. She's chased down. Barnell tried to foul. Lee, to her credit, still able to stay away from Freed Hardeman. I think they're, now you might just play it out. Calvert bounces to Pedigo. Double dribble, Baseline yeah. and Bailey double dribble. So you get the stop there, but Campbellsville was able to run off about 20 seconds or so, Benji, 19 seconds. And Wilkes will check out. Lexi Lake back in for CU. And the key now is even if you give up buckets, you just want to make Freed work 10, 15 seconds or so to score. No quick opportunities and certainly no fouls. They wanted LeMay on the handoff. Pedigo knocks it away. Nice job. Pritchett with it. And that may be just about it as Swiss is fouled here by Varnell. Good uh, defensive pressure there by Campbellsville. Pe Pedigo getting a hand in there, tipped it to Pritchett, and a chance to go down here and pretty much, I think, seal the deal here with 31.2 uh, to go. These two teams will meet again later this season. That'll come on the 22nd of January in the new year in Henderson. Yeah, this is a free team that's just going to get better and better. They are. And we certainly hope the same for Campbellsville as Pritchett hits the first free throw here. Lady Tiger is going to be held well under their season average. Of course, that uh, conference average and your season average usually end up being two different numbers as Pritchett misses the second free throw, especially in a tough conference like the Mid-South. Here, Brooks throws a floater up off glass that is good. The door still slightly cracked for Freed Hardeman here, 65-56 the count. Lee has it. Back to Calvert. Bounces ahead to Pritchett. And Lee, they break the pressure long ahead. Pedigo gets the lay in. Oh, missed it. Bailey, maybe a little too far underneath She's a there. a little too far under. You're exactly right. Ten seconds. Floyd to Odom. Here's LeMay. Five seconds. Three on the way in and out. No good. Rebound, Varnell. Pedigo takes it away. And the whistle sounds with three-tenths of a second. 
So Bailey Pedigo is going to go to the free throw line here. When things are all said and done, Campbellsville is going to get a win. Just a matter of whether or not it is a, uh, a nine point win, a 10 point win, or an 11 point win. Well, at the end of the day, Matt, it's a win. It's a great conference win. Uh, you know, you're, sometimes when that ranking comes out, you're the number one team. That first game is uh, really, really difficult, but uh, Lady Tigers, uh, a good solid outing here this evening for their first home conference game of the year. Let it go, it's the free throw. She hit that game winner at Pikeville, Benji. She's been nails tonight at the line. One more for Bailey, that is good. good. She's gonna finish this evening with 13 points as the buzzer sounds. The Lady Tigers victorious as they knock off Reed Hardeman University. 67-56, the final score. Campbellsville moves to 7-0. They protect that number one ranking for the time being. Freed Hardeman falls to 6-2 with a hard-fought loss here to Campbellsville. Pedigo finishes 13 points, 7 assists. How about this number? 8 of 8 at the charity stripe. That dog will hunt, my that friend. That dog will hunt, and uh, just some solid effort by uh, several Lady Tigers here this evening. Courtney, uh, Courtney Pritchett is good to have her back. Lauren Lee, 26 minutes of play. Uh, 6 of 6 from the free throw line. Caitlin Wilkes, uh, 16 points and let's see how many rebounds does she have uh i'm losing it it's not on my stat sheet either. there it is four rebounds so i'm still getting used to this prestos sports i'm not a fan of it it's, so it's i will step away and allow coach Coleman to come in but good effort here by the lady tigers work in progress most certainly here as we await